Goho fail, Goho clean twice. That's what we're going to have a look at in this video. Before we do that, I'm Mr. Welcome back to the channel. If you do, take a moment to hit that subscribe button for daily uploads. Now, I did mention in a previous video about the clan that used the same base twice in the war. And so this is the attacks on that base. So what we have is a little bit of a failed goho here, followed by the clean on this same base, and then another attack on the same base with the same army to see if it improved with use. Let's begin. Let's see why this failed. And then we can talk about the adjustments that were needed. Golem from the right hand side and Golem coming down at the wall from the left hand side. So creating a little bit of a funnel up on that side there. Ram, I'm assuming, will be coming in around here somewhere. Yep, there we go. Ram will come in from there. King's down, so he's in the middle and he should path around. Well, he's been distracted. He's taken out the other king first and now he can come around this way. The queen is a little bit late to the party in this one. Okay, here comes the queen now. Not sure if he was having troubles or whatnot there. We've got the baby dragon and a Valk on the left. And we've got a... I'm not sure if there's a Valk over there as well. As well as the queen. Yeah. Okay, so we've got some Valks over on the left-hand side. We had a baby dragon and a Valk on the left. And looks like we had a couple of Valks and Archer on the left. The... Yep. Okay, so essentially the clan castle survived. The clan castle took out his clan troops. The queen stayed up. The baby dragon stayed up. And when you've only got two wizards left and a bunch of hogs after that time, you know that you're just playing, you're just going through the motions at that point. Yep, so as you can see, once the Valks get in with the baby dragon and the queen's still up as well, I uh, can't get any much more wrong than that. Vital that the clan troops went down, but now that he knows that there's some Valks in the clan castle, let's just see what happened in the follow up attack to this. All right, as we can see, here we are again with the cleanup attack. Let's see what difference was actually made here to compensate for what went wrong in the first one. Two minutes and 11 seconds. Let's dive in. Golem on the left. Okay, so instead of having this golem coming on that right hand side, both golems on this left side or right side here, but in, in terms of higher up, both golems down instead and siege machine nice and early. King, that's all looking identical to what happened before. Queen down nice and early. King's Rage going to have to start up. There we go. King's Rage, a few more wizards down at this point. Siege Machine in, Queen's gone in. That's a big vital part to part of the mix all that went on. And the Golem's gone in as well. So instead of having the Golem just over on the left-hand side or the right-hand side and just getting pummeled until it went down, Poison on the troops in the middle, the Baby Dragon, the Queen's in there, Valks as well, and Rage Spell. So we've also got Valks in the CC by the look of that as well. So as long as the... Other troops were taken down, Rage Valks instead of Bowlers, so they can deal better damage, quicker damage to the CC Valks. So that was a good adjustment on the fly from that attacker, knowing that, okay, the first one failed because there were Valks in the CC and they nuked my Bowlers. This one will succeed because I'll bring my own Valks. Thank you very much. Two heal spells left to go. Lovely placement of that heal spell just then. One heal spell, one bomb tower. And wizards have already gone down up the top for cleanup. Queen is still up and she's got three quarters of the health. So a nice definitive wipeout. Nice adaptation to rectify the fail. Different deployment on the golem. Earlier deployment of the queen and CC Valks of his own to take out the CC Valks that were in the defending clan castle. And look at the difference this has made. There are massive amounts of hogs left up now still and base is totally wrecked. I'm not even sure if he lost a hog. Obviously he lost a hog, but I've never seen a hog attack with so many hogs left lately. 
Okay, let's have a look at one more for this war. It's the same base. Yes, they committed the cardinal sin of using the same base twice. I've seen noob clans do it thinking this base really works for us. Let's everybody use it. But of course, the problem is once you crack it once in terms of you figure out how to beat it, then you've beaten every other base in the war without too much thinking. Anyway, let's have a look at the next attack. As you can see, it's the same base. And we've got the same army, but there's a difference in time of almost a minute here. So let's have, an, have a look to see what actually caused that to be almost a minute difference in time. Obviously, it was very close. I saw this attack live, actually. So my comment on at the time was, plenty of time. <laughs> that's, that's my comment. Plenty of time. There was plenty of time on this one. Don't worry about it. Plenty of time. Okay, Siege Machine down a little bit less time, a little bit slower than the previous one. So there is that aspect. Siege Machine was slightly tight. The timing was a little bit different on the Siege Machine coming in. Now both Golems have pathed around to the left. Queen has come in and we've got a Dragon and an Ice Golem. So we've got a different CC altogether at this point. So that makes a difference as well because once the Ice Golem goes down it'll just cover everything in ice there which is his own clan troops there we go even though there's a rage poison on the attacking queen finally the valk can break free and we've got the rage down for the valk so he didn't have the rage spell on the valks in the initial point so the queen looks like she's going to go down as well so on the previous one the queen was able to stay up but remember we had different cc so it looks like part of the difference was that what went in at the beginning was the golem went in. So a few second delay on the deployment of the siege machine as it looks like it's made a difference. And I see also here that we seem to have skellies, land skellies instead of, look at the hogs are going flying. So I don't recall seeing the land skellies on the previous attack. Uh, not, not that I can recall. They might have been there, but I don't recall them. So obviously the queen going down means that she takes out fewer weapons and a few more hogs going down to spring traps and whatnot because the queen wasn't up there to take care of other things as well. So the hogs had to face a few more weapons. And of course, wow, <laughs> that's right. I remember that big bomb took out a whole bunch of hogs. So we'll just fast forward this now. As we've just left, I can remember looking at this thinking, I hope there's not another big bomb up here. It might just ruin his day because it was coming down to the wire as far as time goes. And of course, finishing the same way with that little building left in the middle of that wall section up there. Uh, look, hogs too fast for the little bomb, uh, but never mind. Hogs over there, no additional spring traps. And that is it. So same base, three attacks. And it's interesting here how a subtle little difference in when the siege machine was deployed to punch a hole caused a little bit of a different pathing with the golem and how it changed, how the attack changed on the base in terms of what was in the clan castle. Ice golem and dragon versus the clan castle Valks and baby dragon for the same base. Just so subtle little differences making all the difference in the outcome and the timing it takes to nuke a base. Anyway, that's all I've got for this video. All that's left to say is thanks for watching.